Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. A lot, a lot of comedy. A lot of talent. A lot of talent Ooh. and comedy. <laughs> Are you recording? <laughs> Let's <beers>. start this. <laughs> hey, Kevy! Kevy! <laughs> Kevy's here with us today. He's all red right now. We're embarrassing him. Stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I won't look at okay, you. Fine, I'll Hold on, I'll face way. the wall. Hold on, hold on. My name's Kevin. Oh, oh. No, it's, it's so not. much. It's way more fun to Sorry say to Kevin. tell you. Yeah, no, you but guys no. can only call me Kevy. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're done embarrassing Kevy, <laughs> he already told us he was nervous. He had to stop for a couple beers on the way here. Hey. I think most people are like that. It's just speaking to the I microphone. Know. Yeah, you know? you're just I'm we're just, just like, sitting why around. Why am I nervous? We're just <laughs> shooting the shit. Everybody exactly. always says, including you, that when you listen to the show, you just want to like talk to oh, us yeah. while we're listening to it. So but now you're here. And here's now your you're chance. Yeah. Like Get I say, on it. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like especially when Bell went on, I'm like, ugh, ugh. I wanted to chirp in. I'm like, yeah. damn it. I'm not there. I'm not there. <laughs> I want to be there. Someone doesn't want to be named, but someone texted me today and said that they have just listened to all of them twice. Really? Twice? Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not the number one fan. Yeah. And well, no, you still are. You definitely still are. <laughs> you're definitely, Twice. you're one of yeah. the number one fans. Okay. Yeah. They said, for don't sure. call me out, but I just want to let you know that I got to the end. And I said, well, wait a minute. Now what am I going to do for the rest of the week while I'm waiting? <laughs> so they started from the beginning. And oh went my again. God. Yeah. I need to do that too. Mm-hmm. Because I'm always like, did we already talk about this? I can't remember. <laughs> I can never remember. Did I just text it to you? Did we talk about it? Did we talk about it on yeah. the show? I can't remember. Well, if you think about it, this is episode 15. Mm-hmm. Episode 15. 15. So it's been 15 weeks. Yeah. That's a lot to remember. I can't if remember we're talk about something. Else. I can't even yeah. remember what we recorded on this episode by the time I listen to it. Yeah. Oh, I'll go to edit it on a, on Sunday because that's when I edit it in the <laughs> afternoons. And I'll be listening. I'll just be texting you, like, <laughs> yeah. dying laughing because I'm like, I totally forgot we said this. <laughs> yeah, and what do you mean, you smack her? <laughs> she texts me random things like, I'm on a tollway, bitch, because yeah, yeah. I said that in the last episode, you know? And I was like, You're on the tollway. Where are you going? <laughs> and then I was like, Listen to it. And I was like, Oh, Oh, yeah, I forgot. that's what I your text that. means. Okay. <laughs> and then when you're talking about the cookies, when we talked, was it Sunday when I was over? What? Saturday, last Saturday? Yeah, I think so. Talking about Friday. the cookies? Oh, yeah, that you Saturday. would bake them. You're not oh, going to yeah. go buy them. You're going to bake no. them. We were yeah. talking no, about going to the like, bakery oh. around here. place? You're like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> the bakery. Your hair yes, and your cookie. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. And I'm like, never going she back. She told you, like, really? yeah. Aww. I'm never going Aww. back. No, forget it. You cannot talk me into it. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you brought me gifts, if you brought me Jaeger that I'm probably not going to have a shot of. <laughs> oh, you, no, you, I said yes. I, I did. I got a gift for you. Well, you were like, well, if, if I brought Jaeger, are you going to do shots with me? I'm like, hell yeah. Just come over and do the podcast. I'll say hell yeah to anybody that brings me anything. Well, that was at Friday night. <laughs> we're all having fun. <laughs> the Friday night that, that Donnie a- got on the floor. Oh, God. And yeah. was going like, with Bailey. Yeah, getting back up. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That was a fun night. We have to do that again soon. I know. Well, you guys do that every Friday night. I just have to show up That's sometimes. our Friday and night. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're always at the same place on Friday night. You know where to find us. Yeah. It never changes. So I see that you have some notes. Mm-hmm. Let's get to them, man. You've been right. prepping, huh? Oh, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've had like four He's weeks like of planning. <laughs> he doesn't know where to start. He's got like well, a like 500 I, word I essay. I gotta keep stopping myself. Like, stop trying to practice it. Because it needs to be just come out, whatever. Uh, yeah, exactly. And then I'm like, thinking in my head, I need to say stop practicing. I'm like, no, I'm still practicing. Say stop practicing. But no, um, I don't know. I've been in the restaurant industry since yeah, 13 you were or like, 14. You wanted All to my friends were busting tables. <laughs> And, and you they're really like, I made thirty-five dollars last night. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's like big money. And my money. buddy, my buddy is like, come in. I'll, I can say his name, the owner. Yeah. I don't know. I'll talk to Abe. You know, like, come in. I'll get you a job. This yeah. is when you were thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> and he was it, like, hell yeah, some underage kids, some child labor. Well, the more and more I, think about it. I had been table. thirteen because I was in eighth grade, and the time they gave me to shine was on home, like homecoming or something. Yeah. For eighth grade. Oh, yeah. Because so that's I went where, in. <clears throat> that was like the fancy place. Yeah. It was the fancy place to eat. So I yeah. went in and I'm, I'm like, I'm, I want to be a bus boy. And like, well, <laughs> we're not hiring bus boys. I'm like, damn. Well, I can put you in the back and you can be a prep cook. Ooh. I'm like, okay. That's so I'm much 13. better. 13 <laughs> burning your hands and stuff. Oh, you have so many scars you, on it's your funny hands. funny you said that. It's funny. 
It's actually Why? wearing a Band-Aid today. What'd you Why? do today? Yeah. I actually burnt it lighting the grill. You burnt <laughs> it. <laughs> and you burnt it the last time I saw you trying to take a pizza out. Oh, that's what it. What the hell? No, no more. All right. In the commercial kitchen, I'm good. Residential, <laughs> I'm a moron. <laughs> but, uh, oh, that's funny. So I'm like, all right, cool. Anything I make. I think I made like 30 bucks a night, 20, 25 bucks a night. My first day, and with 10 minutes in, I burnt the shit on my finger. <laughs> On that stupid oven. I'm in the back. <laughs> no one's around me. <laughs> and I got this huge blister on my finger, and it freaking kills. <laughs> Can I swear? Yeah. We're only allowed three swears. So yeah, that that's was it. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Remember when Drew was like this? He was like, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just joking. <laughs> and I'm not no wuss, but it, it was a bad burn. Oh, yeah. And the whole night, I'm like, I'm hiding it because I don't want to show no you weakness. You don't want to, yeah. I don't want to show I fired. got hurt. <clears throat> Night two. So I start on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a long podcast. It's going to be like three hours of just every night that he burns no. himself. <laughs> <laughs> night two, I'm like walking through the kitchen and my little hut's in the way, way back. So I, I have no business walking through the kitchen for the most part. <laughs> yeah. And they have this huge strainer. It's probably about four gallons worth of mastacholi noodles. Straining into this bucket. I don't know why they're straining into a bucket. Yeah, why Normally, when you do that, you do it into a, one of the three you know, sinks, whatever. Yeah. I knock it right over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in front of the owner. He's like, now you well, only not get $10 owner. The tonight. owner is, doesn't know yet because he's yelling at the rest of the kitchen for something <laughs> stupid. And I'm like trying to pick it all up. Oh I think I'm, for the first five seconds, like no one knew what happened. <laughs> and I'm trying to scoop it back in like <laughs> shit never happened, you know. <laughs> Just going to feed people dirty for Abe months turns around. Jolly. The owner is the first one that sees it happen. Oh, God. And lays into me. <laughs> oh, God. He was already in a bad mood. Lays into me. And, like, running restaurants, you know, like, I'm like, man, that dude was a real dick. Yeah. <laughs> because if I'm, like, if I hired, like, a 13, 14-year-old. Yeah. And, of course, they're nervous. Like, I'd feel bad for the kid. Like, no, no, no. It's, it's okay. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You're like, it was only I'll, 98 cents yeah. worth of pasta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 10 for 10 at most stores, right? Back then, it was probably a lot oh, less. Wow. But no, after three weeks, because his wife was a pain. Uh, but no, I was we able. This, we wonder why this place closed. I mean, I don't get it. I, <laughs> he had a whole bunch goal. of 12-year-olds oh, working there. Burning it, their it fingers even gets, and spilling the it pasta. It even gets better. I think a week after this, I quit. <clears throat> I called in because I wanted a skateboard or something. <laughs> I spent all my money on Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like you're gonna bus on homecoming night you know all my friends like we need you to bus i'm like sweet that's why i wanted to be here yeah no joke four four or five minutes after my shift started people started coming in for reservations yeah and i'm like i poured like one glass of water on a table power goes out oh my oh. god the whole like the whole street Oh, no. Didn't come back on. We all had to go home. Oh, oh my God. It was I'm your like, one my chance. Time to shine. Your one chance to shine yeah. and do what you wanted to do. Just edit it out. If she don't like it, we won't hear none of that story. If all, she of don't sudden, like it. all of a sudden, it's like episode with Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's not even in it. It's just us dying laughing. <laughs> Okay, so the but that was my first official job, probably illegally. I was going to say, because it's no power. Cash. Labor, it was cash. Yeah, so that wasn't <coughs> even like officially. Well, I know the labor laws of Illinois, and like if you're 14, I think like you can't work past seven. You can only yeah. work like 15 hours a week or something. Yeah. Yeah, I work. You have to get like, a break every two hours yeah, or something. something weird. Well, yeah. If you're, on, if you're 14, I don't even think you can hire anybody if they're 13. I don't think so. Because you needed like a yeah. work permit when yeah. you're 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, while I was working there. Uh, my parents bought the restaurant. Yeah. And like two and months we all go by. working there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, were you part of the rookie yeah. crew? Yeah. Really? Of course I was. Okay. God, I worked there. Yeah. Is that how I you didn't know you met? were I part of there. like opening because I, I didn't talk. Much. Right. We didn't and know each other like then really. Like we did, but. My sisters were like, oh yeah, we got a restaurant. I'm like, what? <laughs> You got to understand, Kevy has eight siblings, so <laughs> yeah. shit happens in the house, and like yeah. half of them don't even know, you know. <laughs> and so like, you were really, you like, were too you were busy skateboarding here? all the time, yeah, so yeah. yeah. And um, I said, "Oh well, I was a prep cook." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and you your know, stepdad looked at you like, yeah, I saw the blister. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was healed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I worked Friday, Saturday, Sundays there. Yeah. From there on out, I think I was 14 then, maybe. Yeah. Uh, just so I was 16. Mm-hmm. If you were 14, I was 16, and <clears throat> I was waitressing. Is yeah. that how you guys met? No. No. Uh, we met because I went to school with his older sisters. What else you got on your list? Uh, all right. Well, so, we got shit customer complaints. <laughs> That's on everyone's <laughs> list. The top. So well, wait, I tried, three. there's so many. So I worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the restaurant. At the restaurant, yeah. And then whenever I just pretty much didn't even fight to go back to school. So I started carpet laying with this this guy. He was friends with the family. So I worked Monday through Friday carpet laying and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the oh restaurant. Oh my god, yeah. You were born for the business. Clopin. Jeez. That's Clopin. Yeah. Clopin. Yeah. So I did that for a while and then I Turned 18, I moved out, I started delivering pizzas for this pizza place. In for a pretty well-known pizza place around here. So <laughs> I'm like 18 years old with a good amount of money. I bought myself a 1989 Ford Aerostar van. Oh my God. For 500 bucks. <laughs> Those things are sweet. <laughs> Dude, it was. <laughs> I called it the Shaggin' Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> that is such an original name. Well, Holy cow. I didn't call it. Well, Carly named it that. Did you make it look hair. like the Dumb and Dumber van with the dog and the no, tail? I wish. Because then that really would be. <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny. <clears throat> so I did that and I also was delivering for that. Pizza, pizza place. place and i started there and then it, it was like i was like there for a year and then gone because i skated yeah yeah and then, um i actually had my own restaurant that yeah. i was running and they were training me to be like a gm of the whole restaurant and then i got this opportunity to go and tour skate. and travel i was just country. gonna say were you yeah. professional oh no i was like amateur but <clears throat> i had the opportunity and they gave me like a 90 dollar a day per diem or something That's like that. it's better than 35 dollars. yeah right yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's what we get when we travel. Really? We get a lousy 40 bucks. Well, yeah. Well. I'm like, you can't even buy a red so what is with it. So I pretty much, I was skateboarding, <laughs> touring, and we had certain sponsors. It was a certain thing we did, but <clears throat> after a while. What I kind of skating? Roller skating? <laughs> skateboarding. <laughs> yeah, roller skating. I had a tutu on and everything. <laughs> what are those one roller skaters that hit each other? Oh, oh the derby. Roller derby. Yeah. Roller derby. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you did? I was in the derby girls. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I was a dude. <laughs> so what a wig Long guy. blonde long hair. hair. No, yeah, I didn't yeah, yeah. Before had, I was cool. He had a chip tooth and long blonde yeah. hair back then. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's I miss your chip tooth. I don't. It gave you like such I want to see you with long hair. Oh, I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> After like two weeks in, you're with the same eight dudes in the van yeah. or whatever just all stinking and after, yeah, yeah oh yeah after skating hard all day mm-hmm. we all stink mm-hmm. gross mm-hmm. A bunch of MySpace. Boys. we had all had laptops oh my god <laughs> it was myspace it had to be before 2010 then mm. i don't know maybe not maybe it was just ending then yeah maybe 2008 2008 i bet anyways yeah, we all had laptops we all had competitions like how many notifications? Because we didn't have Wi-Fi. We, our <laughs> cell phones were like almost nothing still. Yeah. <laughs> we had competitions like new comments, new friend requests, new messages. How many you got? Andy always won. <laughs> <laughs> He's more popular. <laughs> Screw you, Andy. Yeah. Screw you, Andy. We don't see him here on the podcast. Screw you, we get Andy. Notifications. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyways, I came back and I, and I got my old Then you got your own for, restaurant. Well, I was already running that, and yeah. then I was like the owner, and I, I he was a great guy, yeah. <clears throat> and I felt so bad because like he gave me the opportunity to run this store. It was a brand new store, yeah, <clears throat> restaurant, and like four months in of me like everything's fine, we're we're getting on track. I'm like, dude, I got this opportunity because also I was running this the skate shop that was sponsored by oh yeah. i had that and i was going on tour too yeah so that's I like my more retail shop. yeah mm-hmm. because um yeah we sold clothing shoes skateboards yeah. is it local to here naperville Eight. okay <clears throat> yeah so that's close and i don't know if you, so when you hang clothes okay mm-hmm. i was taught this i never knew this with the hanger you hang it from the front of the shirt and the hanger as a question mark. 
You I never knew about? it mattered. I never knew it mattered which way it went. Mm. The owner specifically like needs to be like a question mark. <laughs> so when they take it off the hook, you know what I mean? The hook. Oh, the front. They're is questioning facing, if yeah. they're going to buy it or not. No, like the hook, <laughs> like it can't be reverse question mark with the front of the shirt. Mm-hmm. That's how I hang all my stuff. But I think it's because my closet's on the right. Like, you know, I have a walk in closet, but my stuff's on the right when you walk in. So all my stuff faces out. So huh. it's always a question mark. I can only put stuff into my closet, okay. so it so can he, only go one way. Yeah. Oh, but then which way the shirts face? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. Oh, my Not gosh. Not for me. So all my I shirts face the same way and sometimes, everything? Sometimes I hang them up inside out. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> my <laughs> closet's color coordinated. Get out. I swear to God. Mine's, not, mine's only like this big. It so. goes from like blue to black to all the tank tops the to yellow here. to green to, yep. Holy yeah. smokes. Holy <laughs> smokes. So I was trained by a super OCD person, is oh what you're God. telling me? Yeah. yeah. I do it every day when I do my laundry. Hang <laughs> do my you really? Not every day, but, you know, when I do it, like, yeah. question mark. <laughs> it has to be the <laughs> facing weird. a certain way. That's funny. I just thought yeah. it was normal. Like, you Everyone your bills. listening right now is thinking about how they're hanging their clothes yeah, in their closet. for sure. Everybody's got to go question mark. That's it. If you follow the podcast, no. I want to see the question mark. No. <laughs> when we visit people Mine at their go. house, we're going to be like, let me see your closet. <laughs> Mine go every which way and sometimes inside out. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care. I don't care. At least they're hung up. I, don't know. I think I have a cousin that hangs hers normal, and when she wears it, no, I'm sorry, she hangs everything backwards. In, yeah, backwards, yes. so that like you're not looking at the hook going over. You're looking at like the end of the hook. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. And so if a year goes by and that that shirt is still facing yes. that opposite way, she donates That's it. That's what I need to do. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. So then if it's turned, she's worn it for the year. It's good for the next year. It's because like I'm it makes like, it to the next level. I'm, it's not going to fit anyways. That's a whole new level of whatever. Uh, it is. <laughs> it's a whole new level of OCD. So yeah. I'm going to need you to do that. So yeah. Hang <laughs> everything backwards. Yeah. Hang everything backwards. Still mark question mark. I'm going to buy white tees from here on out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got your work shirts now. Yeah. Pretty much all I wear. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have name badges or no? No. Yeah. <clears throat> business cards. So every day you He's can a be a different. Man. Well, yeah, that's true. Every day you can be a different name mm-hmm. if you don't hand out a business card. Well, like we play jokes on <laughs> like you guys do in the stores. <laughs> <laughs> Go to an appointment. Like, yeah, my name's Charles. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's on my business card. So, but you don't want that because then they'll be like, "Oh, I spoke to Charles. He was so nice." And they're gonna be like, "Who the hell is Charles?" <laughs> <laughs> Charles. You're like Kevy, <laughs> aka, write it on your business card, Charles. Yeah. <laughs> also known as Chuck Charles. <laughs> so I came back, and then, um, yeah, I got my position back because obviously, in certain you know restaurant industries, like if you're loyal, I left loyal, right? And like you said before, in fires, like <clears throat> they need help always, right? Mm-hmm. For the most part, yes. And People you can burn your bridges, or you can you know make it whatever great which it's happened a couple times with you or a lot yeah. of people mm-hmm. and they'll hire you back because yeah. they know your worth yeah so unfortunately i was you know a good worker back yeah yeah and then i, I think after a year back um i got you know hayden was coming yeah so I emailed which, who out is Hayden? my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> so I emailed out, you know, like, look, like I'll do anything. Like I just need, I, I need to know, like. You need to know you have a good source of income. I need to, I'll do whatever, you know, I'll take over whatever store, you know, and they like that. Yeah. And which ultimately by the time she was born, I was like running a couple stores. <laughs> <laughs> what about people calling and complaining about their pizza? And it's like, that's not how you ordered it, bitch. Uh, nice try well, getting a free pizza, but it's not happening. So the customer's always right, right? No. No. <laughs> I know. We don't I know. believe that here. <laughs> He's I like, know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give a shit. <laughs> They're going to call and complain. I'd give them a little credit. I'd make them feel nice yeah. and cozy. Yeah. My assistant manager thought it was like his money, you know? Right. Yes, there's so That's many the people He's like, like I'm that. I'm telling you, Kevin. <laughs> I'm telling you. They trying to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I can't see his name. <laughs> I'm like, Francisco or whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Just give them the credit because yeah. when they email corporate. Right. You don't want it to boom, ever right. go up we there. We have yeah. no flags on our restaurant. Yeah. You know, like, I'm getting the heat. You know, I was on yeah. incentives. Like, every time, like, 
but they just wanted free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to them. <laughs> it's not our money. Yeah. yeah. We're still getting paid exactly. We don't need how, emails yeah. from corporate blasting me. Like I'm, you know. That's Did you have like so we call it shrink, you know, and that's the stuff you throw away. Did you have limits on that? No. Um well like if you order too much pepperoni and it went out of date, would you get in trouble for that? No, I would never let that happen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so didn't he the, just mention OCD and question I marks? Know, right. Well, the thing is, is like I would get incentives, you know, because I was the GM of the store. Right. And it was a fairly busy store. So I would get paid extra if we hit a mark and I had my sales or my food and labor costs under a certain percentage of yeah. a four week period. Yeah. And say like 22,000 22, in net sales of the four week period, I would get a certain couple hundred extra dollars a week. Nice. So, so what does what did your shrink <coughs> shrink look like in a week like that? None. I think None. I had the number one food cost for the most part out of like twenty restaurants mm-hmm. that are uh, my owners owned. Yeah. You were just good about ordering what you needed, knowing what you needed. And I knew what our store needed. I mean, yeah. the store almost ran itself. Yeah. And I was trained pretty well. Yeah. yeah. But thanks to Paul. Yeah. 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 Does he still run a room? No. No. Are Remember you still in the room. pizza business or no? No. What do you no. do now? Uh, I was going to say I'm a public adjuster, but I deal with exterior uh, renovation of your home. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Roofing. Siding. So do you ever remodeling. have lonely women show up to the front door and like oh my God. <laughs> oh, well. nightgowns and stuff and say, come renovate me? <laughs> Shit, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a true story, though. Well, if that did happen, I'd probably look at her and be like, I don't know, woman. I know. <laughs> because if you're How that many desperate, renovators you got coming through here every day? <laughs> if you're that desperate, like, you're probably not that attractive. <laughs> but what is your experiences of new management as under management employees? New, wait, what? What's my. So you've worked. Re- rephrase the question. Yeah, say, okay, so start that again. So under new management or... Say, yeah, say new management comes in. You get oh, a new boss. Oh, okay. As oh, you guys so are under management. So that management. happens like you're empl- We get new managers. So you're employees and okay. you get new managers. Yeah. yeah. What is your experience on that? I mean, sometimes it's good. It's scary, you know, I've, because you never know. <clears throat> yeah. Are they going to be a total jerk or, you know, or yeah. are they going to be like a super rule follower with no exceptions, right. you know? And so you guys have both been in the same position where oh, yeah. you yeah. are new oh, management. Yeah. That's okay. retail. Yeah. That, it's, well, that's, it's I've done it numerous times. It's just as bad as the restaurant business. Had yeah. Under management, had new management come in. Yeah. yeah. I tolerate it for the most part. Yeah. 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 But then you're going to get most employees that are like, don't want change. Right. Right. <clears throat> right. They hate it so much. So I find that where we worked and where we met, that the the people that had worked there longer, and I don't want to say older, but just those that have been there like maybe over ten years or yeah. so, Your those core were the guys. ones. Your core people, the core yeah. people, stay. Yeah, they stay, but they also fight the rules, or they'll right. say, "We already heard this," or we like we kind of talked about with Roxy, like, "Yeah, oh, they want to try it again from six right. years ago." Okay, we'll yeah. try it again. We knew it didn't work then. Yeah, but obviously hey, she was easy going, but the people yeah. that have been there, or maybe the older people that are kind of they get set in their ways, and right. it's hard for them to change. Yeah. So then we have a new manager come in, and then it's like here's all the new rules and you're like oh seriously yeah. so we're not doing this but we are doing this yeah. and then we're not doing this again right so right. and i had for me i felt like with the store directors that would come in or market directors it would be completely different personalities right so you'd have one that was really cool worked hard tie off jacket off on a friday and was helping you fill the paper aisle one that or, always carried a box cutter or one that yeah. never carried and a box exactly cutter. <laughs> exactly or one that pointed and said fill that yes. fill that for that yes. i'm gonna go take a long lunch right so it's kind of you know you have different managing styles yeah. you know not saying one's bad from the other but right. you get along with whichever one you right. get along with Anyways. So you've been in the position, though, where you're taking over. New, yeah. You're the manager, oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. right away, you know who's staying and going. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. So um, that was the hardest thing with because I have taken over restaurants and like yeah. right away. And like, you're like, you know, those four people that, are going to quit and you're going to have to fill their Sometimes it's position. like oh, 75% of them because like yeah. the previous manager let his guard down too many times. Well, and like, yeah. I gotcha. And, and then you yeah. walk all over. Right. Them. There's a reason why you would have to go fix those stores. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> but you got your core people that pretty much have set like 45 to yeah. 55 hours a week. Yeah. You come over, they're like, okay, you know, yes, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm not changing like everything. The rules. Right. Yeah. I'm almost just adulting. Yeah. Like, yeah. I have had so many, I pretty much was a babysitter. 
for people that were 20 years older than me. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was stupid. Yeah. It, yeah. It's ridiculous when you have to walk in and people yell at you mm. because you ask them to do their job. Yeah. Like, all I'm asking you is yeah. to do your job. <laughs> yeah. So this is your job, you know. When mm-hmm. I take over a new restaurant, I knew who was going. Usually after the first two days, I'm like, okay, bye, bye. Right. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not firing you. Right. I would get it to the level I knew who was going. I would not really force them to quit. I would just give it to them hard enough where they wouldn't tolerate right. it. And be like, I'm done. You yeah, know? yeah. Good. Couldn't <clears throat> handle. But I was so OCD, whatever yeah. you say. Whenever I hired anybody for any of my restaurants, I would physically train them myself. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Physically train them myself like 100%. And I would lay down any, you know, every single little thing f- right. for them. Stop laughing. It's like a little kid. I know. He's, he's, talking, about, he's talking about babysitting people. We're babysitting. Right oh, my now. God. Well, I don't know. I'm Stop not, with your pens. <laughs> talking to the microphone. <laughs> Sit on your hands. This is the oh. best interview ever. <laughs> I knew it would be. Uh. I'm going in my head. Fuck, I got to edit that out. Okay, fine. I got to edit that one out. I'm like, we're 40 minutes in. We only got about 10 minutes worth right now. Oh. Where did I leave off? <laughs> Anyways, I would personally Sorry, train Katie. any. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> I would personally train, and I had two like assistant managers. Is this still under at the me. pizza place? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How many stores did you open and run and all together? I'll take over and open four. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. In <clears throat> what kind of time frame? Four uh, years, I like can't a year. Even, oh, okay. Okay. I mean, one randomly they'd be like, "Oh, can you go over there and?" And step and yeah, train have these but how long how long did you work for that company maybe 11 12 years ago. oh yeah. wow wow yeah. total That's amazing. Yeah. total not and same straight, owner yeah because I, obviously i left a little right bit. But yeah but it's the same owner the same owner okay you know <clears throat> and uh so i would physically <laughs> personally train all my new employees um i wouldn't let you know my assistants do it because right. like you ultimate. wanted them to follow your expectations. Mine. Yeah. Yeah. And that that's another thing <clears throat> is having an employee's trust you work for for you yeah. and respect you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was trained, okay. I know I was trained good by Paul. Yeah. But I was also semi trained by another person. Yeah. <laughs> and he trained I I was almost trained for the most part. Can we break? (laughs) We're breaking. (laughs) Just want to note that you can't just have a couple bites of Panda Express. (laughs) It's all or nothing. (laughs) Yeah. Teriyaki chicken. I was just telling them on break that I did not, I didn't realize this, but on Monday I had such a stressful day. Like I had to make all these decisions. My boss is on vacation. He's like in the mountains, so I can't even text him for any help. I'm only like 12, not even 12 weeks into a new job. I don't have an an analyst yet because he left three weeks into me working. (laughs) My boss needs to go on vacation. I'm like, okay, I'm starting to get like, what's going on here? So I sat from like, 7.30 7.30 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. I think I and maybe... And you're not a sitter. No. I think I maybe got up to grab the Panda Express for lunch. I only had like two bites because I had a stomach ache. I had to make all these, in, you know, crazy decisions. So I get up at 4 o'clock to use the bathroom. I'm like, oh my God, my feet were so swollen. I, like I mean, I, I could barely walk. <laughs> Talking about swole, like swole. fat, not muscular swole. <laughs> Not like swole. just retaining a lot of water. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I mean I, I could not believe it. So now today it was another somewhat stressful day, but yeah. on the hour I set my alarms, get up, and I would walk like just around, or I'd go to the mailbox and back, or yeah. just to do something because it was they were so uncomfortable. Yeah. Like even when I woke up Tuesday morning, I was gonna go for a run, and I was like, oh, I don't think I can. Like, like they were just split right open. Oh my god, I was getting ready for them to like start leaking or Ew. something. <laughs> <laughs> They were like, shit, am I pregnant? <laughs> God, no. I'm definitely too old for that, but, <laughs> um, but no, that's how it looked. Like, yeah. So clumsy. I think this is what you should do. I saw a lady. Um, she started working from home uh during the pandemic, right? 
And she was like, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. She built herself a desk over her treadmill and she walks and she's yeah. walked every single day. So in a year, she's now up to like 22 miles a day in wow. her eight hour shift. She lost 50 pounds and she just like do, 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 wow. typing on there and everything. And everyone's like, how do you do that? Isn't that hard? And she's like, it took some getting used to, but you know, wow. Yeah. So you have your people that keep talking about how they have all this COVID weight. Yeah. And then you got these amazing people right. that made it work right. and lost 50 pounds. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. And she said she even does her Zoom calls. She's just like, do, do, do. Yeah. Walking in her Zoom calls like, yep, I got the numbers for you on that. Hold on one second. You know. Wow. Like, yeah, I should crazy. do that. Well, at the same time as restaurant, working in a restaurant as a waitress. Yeah. So you work six to eight hour shift. You're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. I'll work twelve yeah. hour shifts. Oh yeah. Thirteen on your feet. hour shifts. Yeah. I'm pretty much on a treadmill the whole day. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. We Literally were just what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. We were just talking about you because you sit in your car, but you're when you're but not. I walk. Yeah. yeah. When you're not sitting in your car, it's just you're walking, 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 walking. It's really commutes. fast. Yeah. 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 So I don't even think we let you finish your story <laughs> about. <laughs> so we were talking about but the story. four. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you were t- oh, so I... you you were talking about when you show up to manage. <laughs> We interrupt people all the time. (laughs) We interrupt this broadcast to bring you everything else we want to talk about. (laughs) Seven o'clock. Do you know your children are? (laughs) So you would show up and you would manage. You said within two days. Yeah. So anybody I hired or I would hire, you know, I would hire, you know, opposed to any other management manager, assistant manager, I would train them myself. Everything. I would show them the ins, outs, everything. Yeah. I would. Like, literally everything. A stupid question is not a stupid question. I ask right. me, ask yeah. me. I don't yeah. care. So, ultimately, when they do mess up, hopefully it's truly a real mess up. Yeah. yeah. And they're not they have no excuse. Yeah. They, they literally have no excuse. Because yeah. everyone's always trying to, like, you know, do less for whatever. Mm-hmm. Especially in the restaurant. So, you can weed out. And that's another thing with hiring and firing or whatever like that. So, it's like. When they truly messed up, they're like, you never told me that. I never can say, like, no, I didn't. Like, yeah. I yeah. always told you. Right, right. And they knew it because they're most vulnerable on their first two or three days of training. So they know deep down, like, if they truly screw up, like, you never told me that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. remember? Like, oh, yeah. Remember yeah. your first day? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. And I know when you're first training, like, because w- I just went through it, it's a blur. It's mm-hmm. overwhelming. Like, my first yeah. couple weeks were so overwhelming. Yeah. I would go to bed and I'd be like, what What did I do today? What did I learn today? So, you mm-hmm. know, you got to give people a, a couple weeks to yeah. learn. But you would hope that if they made that mistake, they would go, oh, yeah, that's what he showed me. Right. And mm-hmm. they know how to fix that mistake. Right, right. That's what yeah. you and want, too. And then on, was it last week's episode? Whatever, oh, yeah. Uh, what we were talking saying? about, like, how, you know, a bad manager... Can ruin Rewards. good people yeah. for rewarding yeah. the bad okay. people. Yeah. So are you a good or bad manager? Well, I started out as bad. Okay. Okay, because I was kind of trained semi in um, yeah. of like just training on like talking down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me a good two to three years to realize because I, you know, once I was incentivized and right, you know, mm-hmm. it took me a good two to three years. Like you need to. Be on their side. Mm -hmm. Right. And I always was. I always busted my ass with them. Always. Mm -hmm. And it took me about two to three years because I used to be an asshole because I was had an asshole manager on me. Yeah. And after I found that out, I I was working three years and I didn't have to hire anybody. Yeah. Yeah. My employees stayed with me. Yeah. Yeah, And that's literally all it took. When I found that out, I'm like, holy shit, my job just got fucking easier. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all it took. So I said that about that store up in Wisconsin. It comes from the top. Yeah. There is a manager up mm-hmm. there who is just an animal. Like yeah. mean, no one likes her. Turnover's terrible. And then she kind of changed a little bit. She actually like corrects you, but it's more in a positive light. And now she's keeping people. So whether corporate talk to her or not, I don't know. Yeah. But I always say it comes from the top. But it, it literally it also makes your job harder if you're that crazy. Right. Yes. Asshole. Right. Yeah, because you're right. rehired. It's going to make your, you more of an asshole. Nobody Just, wants no. to work for you. Yeah. yeah. You see a guy busting his ass, go help him. And yeah. they'll look at that and be like, oh. Yeah. They know That's what I always said. Boss. I never asked. Like, wow, yeah. I want to work hard yeah. for you. Yeah. I never asked anybody to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Yeah, we I've talked about there, that like I've on the first it. episode. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I do it too. Here, I'll help you do it. Let's just get it done and get it over with. But I need your help, you know? Yeah. Maybe ask people to help, not order them around, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, hey, can you help me do this? Instead of being like, do that. You know, sometimes well, you do have to 
delegate. Yes, thank Remind you. Remind them, Josh. maybe. Yeah, delegate. Remind them. <laughs> no, because literally, like, <laughs> that too. they know their job. Yeah. That's it. Well, and that's when I was at the gas station. We had a first shift, second shift, and third shift checklist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get everything done on it. Don't yeah. fucking sign your name on it if you didn't if do didn't, it. If you didn't do it. I'm or gonna don't check mark it. it. Right. Yeah. I'm going to check it. Sign your name on the mm. stuff that you check mark. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Don't, yeah. you know, not all the stuff. I would yell at them all the time. Because they had this habit of, they had they had a manager for you know, 15 years there before I came along Mm -hmm. and they would just do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we did it. No, Mm -hmm. don't sign it. If you didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I would rather have you not sign it. Mm -hmm. So I can go freaking do it when I come in at six o'clock. Especially if it's rotating food or cleaning the cooler or something, you got to know that they didn't do it so that you can do it or the next shift can do it or on their next shift. It's going to take them a little bit longer because (laughs) they have to do it. Yeah. We never had stuff to sign off on, but we had like cleaning lists every right. day, like Monday. Through That's basically Sunday. what it was. Mm-hmm. And That's obviously, the slowest days of the weeks are the the deepest cleanings of the. What week. is the we, slowest day of the week for pizza? Monday, Tuesday. Are, That's are a they? day I always order. That's why a Monday and Tuesday, anywhere you look around, half it's half off. Half pizza. off. Okay. They just need some kind of volume. I never yeah. get you know, half you're off getting pizza? like mozzarella sticks and what the hell? Oh, you're other yeah, stuff. exactly. You're gonna order something. Else. And then, we like, always if do. you got a dine in, it's like dine in only. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like five dollar pitchers. Yeah. So they're getting it. They're getting yeah. it everywhere. So somewhere okay. else, rather. Um, obviously, we had everything else. It wasn't just a pizza place. Right. I mean, it was a. You we, had beefs and wings. Oh wow! Pastas. Pasta. We, we, I haven't had dinner yet. Stop we literally. It. I know me neither. <laughs> we, literally everything we made per order, we were like scratch. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think the busiest day of the year? Just the busiest day of the year to sell pizza for like uh, Halloween. Really. Oh. Cause ain't nobody cooking. Cause the kids yeah, are all yeah, out. Yeah, you're yeah. out, and yeah. And then about whatever everyone's coming in, we need food. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. You're, everyone's like, oh, New Year's Eve. Like, no, everyone's getting wasted. I thought the day after Thanksgiving, cause like <laughs> Halloween, yeah. they're too busy handing candy out. They can't yeah. cook. They're yeah. not even grilling. I like. Or they're out. With I the like kids. when you're trick or treating and you go around in those places, like, like some houses. They'll like have like. A, a crock pot of chili and like <laughs> yeah. some beers, you know. Oh, and they're yeah. like, "This is for the big kids over here." You're That's like, "Why Woo! I always take you? We go to the cool neighborhoods." Yeah, I went like all the way to Antioch one year because like I heard this neighborhood was sweet. Yeah, so, we'd yeah. go. We'd we drive over to a neighborhood too. <laughs> not because <laughs> our of the neighbor- king size candy bars. Our neighborhood was not that cool. <laughs> you heard this guy's got some good white chili <laughs> 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 or chicken chili, and he drinks Bud Light. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, every year, that's what I make is soup. Cause I figure I'm going to feed them sodium. I mean, they're older now, so I don't, but actually I probably, yeah, actually I still do. I still make soup, but I'm going to feed them sodium. Cause then they're going to eat a whole bunch of sugar and then it just yeah. balances out. That's always there my thinking go. on that. Yeah. Wow, mm-hmm. I never thought of that. Well, you have a whole platter. I've seen your photos. Yeah. I know her Snapchats make me. Uh, when so I made hungry. my charcuterie board. Yeah. Charcuterie. What was my shark for? coochie board. <laughs> 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 I hope there's no coochie on there. <laughs> Uh, yeah was that thanksgiving thanksgiving yeah i usually do it thanksgiving and christmas it wasn't this year we didn't really do much this year because covid (laughs) (laughs) but yeah i did do a big shark (coughs) shark coochie board last year (laughs) charcuterie okay you want to hear a cool story yeah kind of that's what we're here for (laughs) so any day now (laughs) so we get complaints Non-stop. I just, okay, whatever. Sorry. Are we still Give talking pizza? Yeah. All yeah. right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So there was, so the establishment I worked for was, had other locations, okay, and the ones we didn't even own. Oh, because so they were like I was in owned? one town, and then there was another one, like a town over. Oh, yes. And another one, like two towns over. Right, okay? right. So this guy calls me from like. Four can't, towns can't over. And he calls me. He goes, hey, can you call the McHenry location and order me this, this, this? Why would you Why would you do that? I'm like, no, I can't do that. Um, <laughs> don't you have the number? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I'm like, don't you have the number? I don't even have the number unless I go look over on the laptop. Like, no, I'm calling you. Can't you just call that location or fax them? My like, order, sir. It's 2012. He's like, <laughs> I don't. He uses he's a fax like, machine okay, this anymore. is how stupid he even got. I don't have a phone to call them. Okay? Well, how do he call you? Exactly. 
And I'm like, you're calling me, dude. Are you sure that wasn't just a joke? No, no, no. This was real. This mm. guy must have been hammered. So we're on the phone, and I'm actually in a certain area where there's a lot of, like, employees around me. I took this call because of one Thank of the God. owner takers. Yeah. No, I, it, they asked for the manager. I, I had to take it. <clears throat> and he starts cussing me out. Because I'm like, no, I'm not going to order your food. Call him yourself. <laughs> My phone's broke. What are you doing talking to me on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Have a great <laughs> night. Bye. Like, that was, like, the nicest I could be to really shit I probably would have just someone. hung up on him because if his phone was broke, he probably wouldn't have been able to call you back. He didn't even know what a phone was, probably. <laughs> he even brought up the fax. Fax the order to him. Like, what? Nobody faxes. Well, back then they did. All right, so there's that one that where I, I've had actually customers call, like, freak out and threaten to come in to beat me up. <clears throat> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Especially in the food business, right? Yeah. So, Even working in the restaurant, they'd eat like all of it and be like, it wasn't good. Yeah. And you're like, well, you ate it all. <laughs> yeah. So I gave the dude a credit or something like that, and he still kept complaining. And I'm like, look, dude. He's like, I'm going to fucking come in there. I'm going to come and kick your ass. It was like Friday night at like 830. And I'm like, okay, dude, bye. I hung up the phone. I called the police. Yeah, absolutely. I don't right. know if he's going to come. <laughs> yeah. A lunatic. Mm-hmm. Please come. Three cops come out, and I walk out. I'm like, this dude, he's telling me he's going to come here and kick my ass. There's this, this, this went wrong. And I'm like, I, I don't know. I just don't he know. He might be on his way. Yeah. Like, I'm the only one here that could probably do something. Yeah. yeah. And I'm still, like, 160 pounds <laughs> wet. <laughs> you know, like that, at that time, you were, like, at, 135. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> so it's hilarious. There's two cops, two or three cops right there in the front. And the fucking dude walks up. And, uh, and you knew cops? it was him? You knew it was him? I knew it was him because he walked up saying, like, talking crap. With the cops sitting oh, right here? Oh, I thought he was on the right phone. Here. And all of a sudden I see one cop go like this, or lean, and talk into his little yeah. walkie-talkie, walkie like blah, blah, blah. He knew the dude. A f- confirm he had a warrant out. Oh, wow. my God. Says blah, 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 whatever his name was. Knew him first and last name. You're under arrest. You got a warrant. He's like, oh, man. Oh. He's like, <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> All because you were pissed off about an order. Oh, my God. And you threatened to kick my ass. You know what? That's why you that guy. saw the cops there. That's why that guy has warrants, because he does stupid shit like oh that. Oh, my God. And he fucking probably spent the night in jail. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> really wanted some more mozzarella sticks. And it's hilarious, because whenever he walked, he was like halfway up to the cops, and he was with his girlfriend. His girlfriend walked away, and he walked up alone. She probably had a warrant, too. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Birds of a feather <clears throat> flock together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, I remember. wonder how often this happens, that customers <clears throat> threaten like that, where, you know, managers have to call police. I've had delivery drivers threaten me, and I've had to call the police on them. Wait, your own delivery yeah. drivers? Wait, what? why would they? Why? I because I you wouldn't hire their daughter. Yeah, I was the manager. <laughs> oh, wait, I think you told me this story. I think I remember this story. Right. Yeah. Well... Okay, we'll go into that one. Let's, <laughs> go in, let's, let's absolutely so, go into this one. This guy, he's probably like 60 years old, weirdo, delivery driver, whatever. You deliver. He wants to make a career out of delivery driving. Impossible, but try. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they if you really get some try. good regulars, you know. Yeah, but cool if you're retired, great. Yeah. Delivering pizzas or delivering for anywhere, it's a part-time. you got to have right. a full-time job. Right, Yeah. Because I would have core full-time delivery drivers. Every three weeks, they'd be taking days off because the car isn't working. Something's oh, wrong with the car. Yeah. they got to get new tires. Like, they don't budget well enough. Right. <clears throat> some days they can make 30 bucks. Some days they can make 120 mm. So this guy, <clears throat> he has his son working, delivering, too. This guy's a complete insane weirdo. Everybody. Wait, the dad or the son? The dad. Okay. So this is when I took over this location. Okay. He sticked around a little bit. This is the 60-year-old? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> His wife died th- three years prior, two or three years prior. They found her on the bike path, on the side of the bike path. Oh, my God. In spring. And she's been missing since winter. Oh, my Did God. Did he put her there? I think so. <clears throat> Everybody oh. thinks he did it. And you hired him? I didn't hire him. I, this is when I took he, over. He had to take over. This oh, summer. sorry. Um, See, they brought Kevy in. He was <clears throat> the... He was oh, okay. the I'm sorry. eliminator. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was so the he fixer-upper. Okay, this guy, 
Obviously, was a, this other guy was the eliminator too. Oh my god! My god too soon. Yeah, well, he was a jack of all trades and a master of none. So he said, <laughs> and he had a key loop. It had like a hundred keys. And oh like, my this god! This is when I used to do this. And I'm like, it's probably all the storage I'm units like, where his Dude, ex-wife's are or something. Stop. Weird. So <laughs> to make a murderer, just make him. His a son also delivery delivered. Guy. Oh my god! His son also delivered for me too. His name. He called himself by his. You know, third person. He'd be like, yo, my name's Brando. Oh. Brando says this. He, he would say like that. Okay? Oh, my God. He shows up to work one day on a Friday <clears throat> with poor man YOLO tattoos all over his body. He goes on delivery, gets pulled over, and he gets arrested with pipes on him, weed on him. Oh, gets my God. He's in jail for a week. I feel like mm. a lot of pizza delivery guys probably smoke the... Devil's lettuce, <laughs> as, as Drew would say. Yeah. Didn't he say something like that? <laughs> the devil's lettuce. Whatever, but he didn't have a license. He didn't have every, He didn't anything. have a license. Nothing. You guys don't check that when you well, hire him. Well, that's the thing. He was a current employee. I didn't, you know. So what? It probably happened after he was <clears throat> okay. But like, hired. so when you, I don't hire, check their license every time, every week. It sounds no, like but you I, need oh, to. Oh, okay. You know? So when you hire them, you check their license. Yes. You make sure they have you a make valid, sure they have valid insurance. Okay. Too. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like that's something that should be checked maybe once every six months. Yeah. Maybe even three months. If so he gets At least out, once a year. Yeah. So he gets out of jail. <laughs> so and what he, happened to his pizzas that he was delivering? I oh, know. I had somebody go grab them real quick and take it. And they came back. So like, they like. Brando got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> because he was a dork kind of. Oh you know, God. like he thought he was cool, but everyone made yeah. fun of him. Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets out of jail like a week later. Comes in with his sister. Knows he can't work anymore because I know he doesn't have a license. Right. And uh, I'm like, okay, I'll call you if I need you know, work. I didn't want to hire her. <clears throat> Not oh, because he wanted her to drive then. He wanted her to deliver. Okay. I didn't want to hire her. Right, because he knew her family her. was trouble already. Yeah, and yeah. I heard about her. You know, like she did other drugs the besides mine. the devil's lettuce. I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> it, it was the, that town. Yeah. So I get a call that night from the dad. Why don't you hire my daughter? I'm like, I don't need to hire your daughter. Well, who's going to take Brando's spot? I'm like, someone else. And he's freaking out on me, cursing me out, calls me the N-word. Oh. oh. I'm going to effing it's kill not you. very nice. He says oh. to me. I call the police because I'm like, he made Here we go. Because like, he wife. killed his wife. And Who, knows? Her on the Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Everyone thinks he does. He's crazy. He always wore wolf shirts, too. Only. <laughs> I swear to God. So I call the police. The cops show up. I tell them. I him, never trusted anybody in a wolf shirt. <laughs> I'm going to tell you his last name after this. So yeah. Oh, my God. Cops show up. I say, what's going on? I bet his last name is Wolf. <laughs> no, even better. <laughs> And the cop's like, oh, I know him. He's harmless. He just talks crap and all this stuff like that. I'm like, are you kidding me? But I, So I you just, couldn't fire him for No, I fired him then, you? yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I call just the cops sure. on you. Yeah. So you guys are going to think this is ridiculous. I may have told you about I think this, this whole thing's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? you bad? No, like, <laughs> like we got dead wives on the oh path. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. Man. We went from pizza to a dead woman. Yeah. I want to hear more oh, about this when we get off the air, yeah. by the way. So another one that just I instantly remember because I was dumbfounded, uh, besides the whole fax me, fax the other store. Yeah, you know? yeah. Is so this guy calls and he orders like a, 16 inch like sausage supreme the, the the kitchen line screws up and makes them an 18 inch i don't charge him for an 18 inch but shit it needs to go i give him the 18 inch right charge him for, for the 16, 16 inch. inch price yeah. i'd be like yes yeah i wouldn't right? even notice right i wouldn't even notice he no. calls back and complains that it was <clears> too large he goes well i ordered a 16 inch i'm like well i know you got an 18 inch we screwed up same ingredients um i didn't charge you Charge you for the 16 inch. Well, what am I supposed to do with all this extra pizza? <laughs> it's two inches of pizza. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe save it for leftovers. Like, just I don't, don't like cold leftovers. Just don't pizza. eat the crust. Then throw it away, I say to him. <laughs> oh you expect my. me to put all this extra garbage in my garbage on your whatever? Like, oh, my he God. He was literally complaining, like, 
you want me to use my garbage space because you screwed. It wow. was ridiculous. I, yeah, wow. that that probably takes the cake. Yeah, I would <laughs> say that's probably one of the worst. Do you I've have heard. a dog? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a raccoon? Neighbors. Do you have a neighbor? <laughs> in the middle of the night? Put it in your backyard. <laughs> You were like, throw well, it out for the birds. That's how pathetic they were on wanting credits and shit. It was pretty bad. So then he wanted wow. a free pizza because he got too big of a pizza? I don't know what he wanted. He was complaining. I did not, I was going to offer him anything. Yeah, because you already He got gave more him. than yeah. what he paid for. That's so weird. It was, it was pretty stupid. People are like, oh, we ran out of that and I just gave you this. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's me too. But we've talked about that. We don't yeah. complain about anything. I ordered a pizza the other night and it was supposed to have bacon, sausage, onion, and barbecue sauce on it. And they called me back and they were like, oh, man, we're out of bacon. And I was like, just throw some extra sausage on that bitch. I'm cool. Whatever. Yeah. I don't care. So you've brought that up to about, you know, like 90% of like people. Don't complain, but there's right. that, there's that like ten percent or and why do we always remember maybe? the ten or two yeah. percent? You well, because why? the people okay, so it's funny you say that yeah. because you know people will be like, oh well, you only talk about the bad stories. Okay, you want to hear a good story? Okay, so this person came and they checked out and they paid their bill and they walked out and, and said, they Have smiled a nice day. and said thank you. There you go. There's your good person story. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Boring. also the, that's also a perfect example of just like a new restaurant coming around or a restaurant period yeah. and then like reviews or whatever. Yeah. And then just personal reviews. Right, right. You go to a restaurant and you have a bad experience. Yeah. On average, this is like a poll they took. It may have doubled. Yeah. On average, you're telling 18 people how shitty of an experience right. you've had at yeah. that restaurant. Right. You have a good experience. On average, you tell two people. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So that's so true. That's why when you look up Yelp. Yeah. It's all shit It's bags. all bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit bags. <laughs> like, I tell people, like, who looks at Yelp? I Nobody I know. Anymore. You know what? It's funny because we go to places in Florida that, like, their bathrooms really aren't that great and stuff. And people are like, um, just so you know, if you're going to the bathroom, it's kind of gross. I'm like, yeah, I know I live here. I choose to come here. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I've I never. I choose to come here four times a year. I know. I'm like, I've never, like, looked at their reviews. I bet they have terrible reviews online because their bathrooms are pretty fucking nasty. I don't know. <laughs> Who's got time to leave a review? I don't I think don't. I've ever left one review I've never, ever. I did. Not, never. I did for the car wash place in our town because it was awful. Oh, oh. Just, and the, car wash the bathroom today. or just the car wash? The itself? car wash itself. It okay. was terrible. I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure, except for when I went to corporate for like the pharmacy because oh, I couldn't yeah. stand the woman. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I edited that story out at the last Did you? <laughs> podcast. I don't remember <laughs> at the last episode. Anyways, uh, besides <clears throat> that one going to corporate, I don't think I've ever no. left a bad review on yeah. anything. It's, it's, it's good. I want people to know. Like, there's a couple of restaurants around here that I love. I tell everyone. Do you? I'm probably, yeah. I'm probably someone that tells more than two. Then, if that's like, yeah. I love this place, and yeah. I want people to go. I want to show up and see people I know there. Right. And I if just, it's a good place, and they have good food, and they have good service, you're like, yes, go here. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure the people in this room and those that listen are more of the positive. Right. Like, you, obviously, you're here because you're laughing. Yeah. You're not going to put a, a bad review on something. I think you should go on Yelp and be like, oh, wow, you didn't like that place? You should go here. It was really good. Yeah, <laughs> I should. I don't even know if I have that Just app or Just put like a bunch of like. I'm sure yeah. somebody's <laughs> already on payroll for a lot of places for doing that. Yeah. yeah. I, so <laughs> you, they absolutely sure. are. You can, sure. you can tell that some of the bigger restaurants or bigger places even do on have Facebook, people. Yeah. When you see a product on Facebook yeah. and it's like, I love it it's mm-hmm. so great and it's like someone paid you to write that yeah <laughs> and when they're so detailed like yeah. i ordered two and now this is this and yeah. this and it's real positive you're like yep yeah. nope. that's yep, not nope. real yeah. that ain't even real you don't even go here i should just so, go like on all the different reviews that are bad i should just be like holy smokes <laughs> are you serious i love this place oh that's so funny yeah. so like you've mentioned this before but have you worked in the restaurant industry no no, never, no, not never. nothing, zero. No, I was smart. Right. I'm the smart one of this room. So obviously, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was like, bless you, girl. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no. I just, I just never, bullet. I just never well, had I mean, the opportunity. Retail is almost the same kind of like it is. It is. You know, yeah. So especially like working in the when deli you and say, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, when me and you go to a restaurant or wherever we eat, we have that table bust. Yes. Put, you know everything. You stack there. everything. Nice. We walk yes. out. Everything's yeah. like, oh wow. Yeah. Boom boom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then just like the complaints, like we won't complain. No, I'll. I still won't complain. It's like I won't I'll complain unless it's really me. like, all right. And then 
nine out of ten times, that waitress, if she seems pissed, she's not pissed because uh, of you. Right. Yeah. She's pissed because either the kitchen screwed it up. Right. Or she's pissed because she's swamped. Right. Yeah. And right. like, shit, I don't. Didn't, you know, That's like our Friday night Now place. I gotta be like late yeah. on this table, this table, that yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've handed out menus yeah. at our Friday night place because they get swamped. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And they'll be like, stop working. And I'm like, just buy me a drink, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if people see that, they're not pissed at you. They're pissed yeah. because their shit just got slowed down. Yeah. yeah. And they're swamped. Yeah. <laughs> but we have a certain bond. It's almost like even if you don't get along, like how many waitresses do you didn't get along with? Oh, but so if many. someone was talking crap or blah, 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 you'd stick up for them. It's yeah. almost like it's a, a brother you beat yeah. up and someone will try to beat your brother up. You're still going to stick say, up for your brother. Can I it's say a family. it is a family, yes. but how disgusting is it when you're in an interview and they're like, it's like a family here. And you're like, great, we're super fucking unorganized. And, <laughs> yeah. and like, you know, like that just tells me that shit's going to go wrong. If you try to convince me we're we're one big fa- happy family here. And I'm like, no, nope, this isn't good. <laughs> I don't want this job. <laughs> but really in the restaurant business, you are like, you all stick together. Yeah. And I like, you like try to give yourself a pep talk. Like, yeah, it's going to be a good night. And then it just goes to shit. And you're just like, I knew it was going to go to shit. Let's go get drinks. So <laughs> working in the restaurant industry, is it just like you see in the movies where everyone gets together at like 3.30 and has a yes. nice dinner, family meal, no. fa- quote unquote family meal? No. no. I thought you were going to say go out to the bar and have drinks. Yeah, that, that's 100%. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I mean, you see it in the movies where they all sit around, no. the chef makes food for everyone. Although um, when dad, when Kevy's dad first took over the restaurant, like he would cook for us all the time. Oh. And he still he's, does. He's, yeah, but I don't work there anymore, well, so... <laughs> I mean, like, try to um, shit. I, <laughs> so that was nice. Like, we would, I cooked you, you know, it would, <laughs> yeah. it would be, like, towards the end of our shift, and he would make, like, an awesome pizza, yeah. or he would, you know, make something and be like, try this, guys. We're going to try this. We're going to do that, blah, blah, blah. You know, so that was nice. Take a Kevy shot. Brought Kevy presents. brought presents and Jaeger that we're going to take shots of right You guys now. are, not me. <laughs> Cassie ate. I don't do shots. Well, Cass isn't. And I have school tomorrow. We should be giving presents to those that come I on. know. That's what I told him. Mm. That's All what right, I I'm told do him. Face down. This one is yours. Oh, oh gosh. my gosh. This okay. Is <gasps> what, is what, is what is it? What is it? Open it. Oh my what gosh! What does it say? What right does now it's say? purple. They're purple T-shirts. It'll get That's better. That's all we know. It'll get better. That's all We're we opening know. it right now. What is it? <gasps> what does it say? I'm, I'm livid. livid. That's look, Kevin look at your, saying. Look at your left sleeve, though. <gasps> oh my god! What he put it? the cloping on oh it. Oh my god! And it has my name. Me too. Oh my god! Oh my god! Did they spell your name right? Y- yeah. yeah. I told him to put Cass. Oh, they put Cassandra. Amazing. Cassandra. Unreal. Cassandra. I'm living. <gasps> I oh, love this my, so What company much. did this? Bent Earth Apparel. Wow. So oh, do you know them? Yeah. Good oh. friends. We have to take a selfie with this and put it up. Yeah, we will. Yeah. We will. So Absolutely. he gave me a decent deal on it, so I got to give him a little plug. It's Absolutely. Bent Earth Apparel. It's a Facebook slash whatever Bent Earth Apparel and I think it's bentsearthapparel.com. Nice. Okay. okay. And he it's has pre, great job. He has free shirts that are awesome, and he's got, wow. and, you know, your logo right there, yes. your clothing yes. effects, he has it saved now and everything. Oh, oh my God. So if anybody That's wants amazing. I'm Livid shirts, Oh my God. He's got the logo. that is your saying. You say <laughs> oh, you that like all it too, the like, time. Unreal. I know. I'm like, what do you mean you're not coming up here tonight? I am livid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got this story, you know, like yes, you joke around really with your, your employees you work with. Right. Oh, so yeah. I Professionally had... joke around. Oh, no. Put shoe, <laughs> put shoe polish on the phone and make them answer it. Kind of joke uh, around. No, but it's just almost like <laughs> uh, just Teasing making them? fun of people, yeah. you know, making fun of so them. pizza's naked when they come back from deliveries? No? Oh, no, okay. employees. So I had this guy, and I'm going to say <laughs> this because I can say this. <laughs> His name was Gennaro. Okay. He was probably about four foot seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so he tall. looked exactly <laughs> <laughs> looked exactly like Mario. <laughs> <clears throat> Swear to God. Yeah. Like in Luigi. And you can even ask Paul. Mario and, and Luigi. And yeah. you know what? Paul can even vouch for this yeah. damn story. It's yeah. Produce Paul? No. <laughs> no. Right. No, different Paul. <laughs> but it's fucking hilarious. So, Gennaro, we call him Nar. Nar. 
No. Hey. <laughs> throat, or the tongue, whatever. So he comes in one day, and we always joke with Nar because he'll be that one guy singing in the back, like, like he's a yeah, like he's Ricky Martin or whatever just the hell he is. Just making pizzas and just yeah. not a care in the yeah. world. Nar Me Martin. No, fucking <laughs> singing. He loves he's singing to the phone girls up front. And I'm like, it's so creepy, but you're doing it discreetly. <laughs> they don't know what you're saying. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> So, I just love all your sayings. <laughs> like you're getting presents, you're not opening. <laughs> we're gonna, we gotta oh, have a whole okay. hour of just Kevy's sayings. <laughs> it's Kevyisms. All right, okay. okay. All right. So, so Nar comes trotting in on his lovely day, showered, smells fresh. Okay. <laughs> He's got these brand new sketchers on. These Ooh. Brand new shoes. So they're probably about size six in men because <laughs> he's four seven. <laughs> And he's showing them off the whole freaking night. Showing yeah. them off like, I paid $90 for these. <laughs> Were they the walking ones, the walk fits? Almost. Like the back had the back roll. The yes. front didn't, you know? Oh, my God. So <laughs> for some reason, he thinks the more money you spend on something, right. the better it the is. The cooler it is. Or Obviously. he's thinking in his head maybe like, the more money I spend, that shows how baller I am. I'm yeah. Like, Bitch, yeah. I pay you. I know how much yeah. you make. You know, like <laughs> you ain't got no G Wagon. So like three <laughs> days go by, he's showing off his sketchers. Ninety dollars a pay him. Like, cool, dude. You got ripped off. <laughs> Pretty much I'm thinking in my head. Sure shit. Okay, I look up online one night. <laughs> no. One time when he comes in saying it again, I pay ninety dollars. Like there's sketchers. <laughs> Sure, shit. He paid ninety dollars. Oh god! But they were girl shoes. <laughs> oh no! I go. I was so excited. It was the only ones that would fit. Oh. I was so fucking excited. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you you fuck with each oh, other. You know, so funny. <laughs> See, these are girl shoes. Like, oh no, no way, no way. <laughs> yeah, they are. Like, you paid ninety dollars. I just found out. Yeah, you did. Congratulations. <laughs> These are girls' shoes. Did you it make says them like youth <laughs> girls? I brought him up to the laptop in the front, and he's like, "Oh fuck!" He was quiet the rest of the night. And never wore those shoes. Never again. wore them again. He gave Aww. them to his kids. He was like, "Here, you guys can have these." Poor Nar. 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 <laughs> if you want to edit this, edit this out. But I was gonna say, rest in peace. He yeah. Aww. Aww, we miss you, Nar, and your girly shoes. Aww. <laughs> Man, he had a good voice though. They with. talk about, like, when you say goodbye. So the Irish goodbye is because when you say goodbye, like, everybody gets sad. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Mm. No, you disagree uh, with that, Kevin? No, the real reason. <laughs> He's going to correct you right Who now. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Maybe okay. it's reversed. The real reason the Irish goodbye is respect towards the family that's getting married. So, like, say someone's getting married and they're at, everyone's at a wedding. Okay. They don't say goodbye because they don't want to overwhelm like the guests of honor or the whoever's getting married or whatever. Because they'd be sad. No, because they're overwhelming them. They, that's why they call it the Irish goodbye. Uh. Um. All right, let's say goodbye real quick and then we'll okay. keep talking. Okay. So All right. thank you, Kevy, so much for being on here. This was so much fun. I'm sorry that we kept thank interrupting you. For our you. Shirts. <laughs> I love it. Anyways. All right. You're welcome. And thank you. Thank you, you Kevy. <laughs> thank you for coming on the thank show you and everyone entertaining for us. Listening. Yes, episode 15. Keep saying. I'm livid. Uh. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Holy smokes. This podcast is brought to you by Name Tag Productions, LLC. Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. Drums, written and performed by my son, Steven. The Klopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all in this together, we might as well make it fun.